All right, guys, happy Friday. Um, just needed to record this little extra video to put at the, uh, at, at the front of what I just previously recorded because I kept saying that I was on step four. I'm actually on step three. So this is step three of the uh, Mirage Pulse Induction DIY detector calibration. And we're gonna be doing setting of the target sample pulse delay and width. So excuse my misspeaking later on in the video. This is step three, thanks. All right, good morning guys. Um, here we are at step four of the Mirage Pulse Inductor calibration videos set. And uh, this entails setting the target sample pulse delay and width. So what I've done thus far in this step is I've installed these two ICs. They're 74HCT221s. I've also adjusted this uh, 2K trimmer here to about halfway. The scope is set up with both channels. Um, I've got channel one on test point five, which is the inverted pulse generator driver. And down here is channel two, it's on test point seven. And that's the first sample pulse delay. I've got my scope set for five volts and uh, 25 microseconds. So turn it on and I'm just gonna unclip you here and shift you over closer to the scope. Excuse the vibrations. get a better look at uh, what we have so you can see what we should be looking looking like there um, right now I have the uh, offboard pulse delay pod at its minimum setting and try to do this one-handed here I turn it clockwise increasing you can see that the channel 2 pulse is moving off to the right as intended and we'll decrease it back again to its minimum setting so the pulse delay pot is back at its minimum setting we also have we're going to test our uh, pulse width toggle switch. Hopefully, I have the right one here. There we go. Can see that as it's working. Toggling the pulse width back and forth. All right, let me get the uh, camera set back up a little bit more steadily and uh, we'll go on to the next part. All right, here we are back again with uh, continuing on with step four of the calibration. So I've, I've set the, the uh, time on the scope down to five microseconds. And what we're gonna do is adjust the uh, 5K sample width trim pod, which is this one right here. We'll adjust that and I think I'm gonna get it as close to uh, maybe 10 microseconds as I can. 
Looks like I'm hovering just around 15 microseconds right now on the scope. So let me adjust it and we'll see. That's about 10 right there. And I'll unclip you so you can take a look. There we are. We're about just about 10 microseconds. Which is a pretty good place to start. I think if we're looking for gold. All right. So th that wraps up uh, step four of the calibration. On to the next one.